Hey everybody, this is John from Nevermore Antiques and I have an, an incredible haul to show you guys today. I went to the auction last night and I bought a ton of really cool, neat, old stuff. This stuff came out of a basement in St. Louis and hadn't seen the light of day in probably 20 or 30 years. The gentleman had just recently passed away and he was looking to get rid of all, well, he wasn't looking to get rid of all of his stuff, but the family was looking to get rid of all of his stuff. I know you're laughing at me and that's perfectly fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stuff out of the back of my Yukon. I've got a couple of totes down here and I'm going to show you the awesome merchandise that I'm gonna be selling on eBay. So let's jump right into that. Here's a really cool item. Um, it is a new old stock. It's an anti-static king size. It's made by Monsanto. It's a bedspread. It's gotta be from the 1960s if you can see here it has the um the logo it's still in the original packaging i paid like uh i paid six bucks a piece for these and i've also got this one here that is a uh, field field crest uh style 1603 it's another um one of these really cool vintage uh, blankets from the 1960s. I think it's probably just a super awesome score. I think that brand new in the package, it would really be a neat item to go to a movie set or something for somebody that was filming a, that, that tote's already full, filming a really neat movie for like uh, from the 1960s or the 1970s. The next item, you cannot really see it too well, but it is a wash stand. It's the one that was in the thumbnail for the picture. It's a wash stand base and it's really cool. I, I don't have a whole lot of talent, but I picked this up. I picked it up for five bucks. Do you think I paid too much for it? I think it's a really cool find. I think it's a really neat item. Um, uh, I don't know. It's probably going to go to the antique booth because it's not an item that I can probably uh, ship on eBay too easy. So it's going to go to the antique booth. We're going to put it up though. The next couple of items that I got here, I picked these up for about 20 bucks a piece. And these are Johnny Lightning and their 1968 Chevy short bed. This is the Johnny Lightning 1968 Chevy short bed. This one is in the burnt orange. This is a really hard item to find. It's pretty rare. Um, I've got this one and then I have the blue one. It does, they do have some, this has some tape right here, some minor creasing to the top, but these sell uh, on eBay for about 125 bucks. So these are really good scores, really good scores. The next item that I got to show you, it's a vintage gotta be a vintage 1960s 1970s Frigidaire uh, uh, ice maker it's an attachment for a Frigidaire ice machine it's brand new in the box um, and I know that you think ah, what's it gonna sell for but a lot of these old parts they sell really really well um, you can make a lot of money off of them and I think it's really cool if you look in the box here it is brand new and uh, should sell for a good good amount of money. I think I could probably get 40 or 50 bucks out of it. <laughs> okay, I got I got this just cheap tambourine. It's not really worth that much. Okay, I've got this pirate ship. I call it a pirate ship, but it's actually a whaling ship. It's a clipper from 1846. It's a replica just a small scale. It's really cool, it's a little dirty, but I think that it could be cleaned up really nice and I think that it could be made into an actually a really just a fantastic uh, little nautical display piece for someone's man cave, bathroom. A lot of bathrooms are done in the nautical feature. Um, so I paid, uh, I paid like five bucks for it. I think it's cool, what do you guys think? Pretty neat, right? The next item that I have here are a bunch of really neat old uh, 19, 60s 1970s i would imagine uh they're little trinket boxes with little pins in them 
Uh, I believe this is probably like a new old stock. The cotton inside of it has got a nice brown age to it. It started yellowing, so that's an indicator that this is probably something that's pretty old. You can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about here. You should be able to see within, uh, with, within the picture here that it has uh, a nice little brown color, the box. I don't know if it was a taupe color to begin with. But there's all kinds. There's a seahorse. There's these little teapots with some turquoise balls in them. Uh, there's a set of fish, a dancing lady, some clowns. These, uh, let me set these, a praying, there's one praying mantis. I actually gave that to a friend of mine who works over at Walmart. She loves, she loves the bugs. Here's a horse, some French poodles, a set of hands, some hearts, one seahorse. Really neat stuff. Really, really neat stuff. The next item that I have, I picked up three of these surge protectors. They're super cool. Um, they're the GFI. So these are high dollar. If you go buy them at Lowe's or something, they're not cheap. They're, they're called Shock Saver, and they're by uh, Leviton. I've sold stuff by them before. Uh, made in Mexico, brand new inside the box. Super cool item. The next item that I have here is a jewelry box. It's going to be top secret. I'm going to do uh, the contents of this jewelry box in another video. I will give you a sneak peek. Um, whenever I switch cameras, I will take it to the other camera and I will open it up and let you see what is inside. So this is a quick sneak peek inside the jewelry box. Uh, from what I was told that all of this jewelry is from the uh, 1960s. I don't know anything about it, so I'm going to rely on you guys to help me figure out the actual value and maybe what some of this stuff is. The jewelry box itself is cool. It's really old. It's got stuff inside the drawers. so. I paid $11 for that. <laughs> there goes mama. I got this box of fossils. They're super cool. Uh, just a box of rocks, but these are pieces of history. It's really amazing. There's a lot of detail, a lot of fossilized detail in here. Um, so when I switch cameras, I'll show you what they look like up close. These are the fossilized rocks. There's a lot of seashells in there. Um, there's no, uh, there's, there's not really a whole lot of really, really cool stuff, but there's a lot of, uh, of, of the seashells and different sea life. I don't see any fish or anything, which would be really cool if there were some kind of fish fossils. Um, but most of it is just, a, um, most of it's just a seashell. Here's some flint, stuff like that. Uh, that's really cool right there. If you can kind of see, I don't know if it's focusing very well, but neat, neat box. Okay, I picked this up. It's a really just a basic, uh, realistic Highball 2 uh, dynamic microphone. It isn't worth a whole lot. I think I picked it up for like a buck, but it's still super cool. I think I can make a little bit of money off of it. This is what it looks like. It's it's almost in unused condition. It's an omnidirectional mic. Uh, really cool. I love the box. love the packaging. Um, I took it out. Now it's not going to want to go back in, but that's okay. Here's something that sells really well. It's kind of a weird item, but uh, we all have to use it. And um, it's underwear. These are original Fruit of the Loom. This is a three pack of men's briefs. They're from Target. I don't see a date on here. It does have a barcode. Uh, they're made in uh, 1986. So a package of 1986 underwear. This is a good find. I know you're thinking, oh, that's a little bit crazy, but seriously, these uh, these underwear are a good score. And this is a pack of Lee underwear. They're not the fruit of the loom, but there are six pairs in here. They're $30 and they're size 44. Uh, these are a little bit newer. I do not see a date on them, but they're pretty cool. This is the pack of the fruit of the loom. Uh, they're 4244s, uh, the old tidy whitey. It's got a date on it right there from 1986. I ended up scoring a whole box full of underwear. There are 14 uh, packs of underwear in this one box. So I can probably get about $30, $40 maybe a pack out of them. And uh, I only paid $40 for this whole box. I know $40 for underwear, but it's a good seller. This is where we're gonna get into some interesting stuff. These are really cool. Original balsa kits. This is the Ranger, uh, and this is the Ranger also. They're 
got to be. I don't know how old they are. Um, but they, they've got to be from the 1950s, early 1950s, maybe even 1940s. I could be wrong, but they just got that look to them. This is an up, up close shot of these. Ah, man, they're just super awesome. Uh, I picked up both of these. I don't remember what I paid for them. I think I paid about 10 bucks a piece for both of these. It's the Ranger kit number E22. So if you're interested, you can look them up and see what they sell for. This is one of my favorite finds that I found. It's an original uh, Ken doll from 1969, still in the original packaging. This is an awesome find. I paid up for it though. I paid $68 for this, but it sells upwards of 150 bucks. This is the original Ken that I was showing you in the other camera. It is super awesome. He's got the original tag on his hand. Uh, the plastic is sealed. There's nothing wrong with it. No puncture holes in it. The back of it is beautiful. It's got bright colors. And right here it says 1969 Mattel. So this is an absolutely awesome piece. Look at that wonderful coloring on the side. This will bring me hopefully $150. I would be ecstatic. I think I would definitely be able to get that out of it. This box here has a ton of old airplane models in it, ranging anywhere but from the 1940s all the way up to probably the uh, 1980s, maybe early 90s. This is one of the really cool cars that I wanted to show you. This is the Lotus 47 GT. It is probably, let's see if I can find a date. It's by Bandai uh, AMH or AHM. Uh, I do not see a date on the outside of the box, but if we open it up, it's a motorized car model. This is absolutely fantastic. It's just, it's just super cool. This is the Lotus model that I was telling you about. It's absolutely mint in the package. Uh, it's still seal. It's all the stuff inside of it still sealed. It's still got the little motor with it. It's absolutely just awesome. I love it. It's got the paperwork. Let's see here if there's a date on it anywhere. I don't see a date. I'm sorry if I've got the sniffles, but it is freezing out here and my fingertips are about frozen. So um, some of this stuff I might do a little bit better in-depth video, maybe on the individual item, but I just wanted to show you guys this, but that whole box is just absolutely cram packed full of models, balsa wood models and stuff. But this is one of my favorite pieces and I think that it will turn out to be one of my biggest money makers. Okay, what I've got right here is a lot of clothes. I would have to say that I'm probably the most luckiest uh, non-clothing seller that finds clothing. I find a lot of dead stock, new old stock stuff. And what I have here are just several pairs of pants <coughs> that are um, new with tags. These are absolutely awesome. These are sportabouts. I've <laughs> never heard of them before. But they're new and they've got the original tags. Uh, here's another pair that's exactly the uh, the same style of pants. Here's a nice pair of brand new LL Bean white pants. Those are really nice. There's one, two pair of those. Here's a couple of pairs. Looks like the guy bought his pants in pairs of two. These are 4430 Rustlers, black brand new here's a pair of lee relaxed fit wrinkle resistant 4430s decent size those sizes tend to sell really well for me they have a price tag on them of 36 bucks i don't know what i'll be able to get out of them i'll have to check and make sure they're really clean but i do really well with excuse me with big men's clothes here is a nice pair. I love that, that light blue denim. These Lee jeans here. Do they have tags? No, they do not have tags, but they are new without tag. I would about guarantee that that I would about guarantee that these have never been worn before, but they are absolutely they are absolutely awesome. Here are two pair. I've got two pair of these uh of these Wrangler 4430 classic stretch. Uh, brand new with tags. Uh, just absolutely excellent, excellent pants. They are awesome. And here we go. Here we go. We got a set of Big Ben Twill workout pants. Super cool. 
I ended up with this weather station as well. It's a professional weather center with PC interface. It's a little bit older. I paid $12 for it, but it should sell on eBay for about $60 shipped. It is a little bit heavy, so it could be expensive to ship, but that's brand new in the box. I figured if it costs $20 to ship, um, and I, if it costs 20 bucks to ship and I, uh, paid 12 for it i can still about double up on my money if my wife doesn't claim it if she doesn't take it as her own here's another awesome item i scored this uh bob allen jacket it's uh doesn't really have a date on it but it's got the original tags um i think i paid 11 bucks for it but it's super nice brand new with tags vintage i didn't think i could possibly go wrong with it uh these are the tags and it's got this real nice suede here real nice jackets with the buttons they've got the ba logo on them just a super cool jacket i don't know you think i did uh you think i paid too much for that should i have probably passed that one over i am not going to go through these boxes and show you everything in here but this is a bunch of uh new old stock lane bryant women's clothing I scored it. Uh, I think I paid like $11 a box. I've got this box with a bunch of new old stock. Here's the second box that I got, and there are probably probably 20 pieces in here. I paid $11, so I'm in it at about 50 cents a piece. I scored a pair of these speakers. They are 12-inch, uh, three-way hi-fi speakers. The company is uh, Utah. I believe that these came out of a, uh, I believe they go into like a jukebox or some kind of old Victrola. Um, it's set and looks like there's some discoloration around the cone, but it's it's just a very pretty speaker. This is a, this is another large airplane that I purchased. Um, it's really cool. There is some water damage to the end of the box. I paid 27 bucks for it, but I think the resale value on it is probably about $100 plus shipping. So I think I'll do pretty good with it. I'll take it out, look at it, try to take pictures of all the parts because I am not an expert when it comes to these planes. So, you know, it's going to take a little bit of uh, <clears throat> it's going to take a little bit of uh, me trying to figure it out to be able to market this appropriately and make sure that I don't get a return on it. That's that's kind of the thing that's floating in my heart. I don't want to I don't want to see this thing come back because I misrepresented it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm building a wall between me and the camera. I can no longer move from here to there. Uh, the next item that I have to show you guys is that I've got the set of seven uh, napkin holders and they're individually carved and they're of animals from Africa. They're super cool. Let's switch cameras and I'll show you. These are the little napkin rings that I was telling you about. Here's a little lion. Here's a rhinoceros. A couple, I've got two rhinoceros. Here is an antelope or a gazelle, I'm not exactly sure. Here is an elephant, ain't that really cool? Or isn't that really cool? Uh, here's a giraffe, I love that, it's my favorite. And then here is another antelope or gazelle. So these are super cool. We're almost done, so we're at the end. Uh, I've got just a couple more things that I found at Goodwill and uh, we'll be done and I can get all this stuff inside and warm my fingers up. This is my uh, The Dark Knight. It's really cool. I picked it up at Goodwill. I paid six bucks for it. It's new in the box. I'll have to take it out and do a little bit of cleaning. It's got some dirt down on the bottom. It's a little bit dusty, but I think it'll clean up really good. I paid six bucks for it. The comps on it on eBay were like 35 bucks plus. So I think I'll do good once I get it cleaned up. One of the last items that I have to show you is this really cool little Samsonite travel case. I like the red color. I thought it was really cool. I thought that somebody could get a lot of good use out of it. It's super clean on the inside. It doesn't have the key, but a lot of Samsonite keys will fit this uh, little train case. Super cool. So this is the train case that I was talking about in the other camera. Let's open it up and look inside. It's super clean. There is a diabetic, one diabetic test strip in the bottom, but it's a really nice clean camera or, or uh, train case. It's got a nice mirror. Say hi to yourselves. Everybody wave. Uh, it's made by Samsonite. Super cool. I love it. I have one more item to show you and uh, we will uh, be done. Sweet. Okay, I think I might have been a little bit crazy to buy this item, but I just loved it. I thought it was kind of cool. I'm going to show you the lampshade. It is a lamp. 
this is the lampshade and I I just love it I think it's super cool I think somebody would greatly appreciate this and this is the lamp I think it's really cool um, it's got the same diamond patterns I think to find the matching lamp and shade is super cool uh, this is essentially what it looks like together and I absolutely love this um, I think that it's really going to be hard. I ain't going to be able to ship it, so it's probably going to have to go to the antique booth and um, probably uh, probably have to find somebody to love it from there. But I hope you guys liked my video. I hope you guys liked the video. I appreciate you for watching. I know there's a lot of good YouTube content creators out there, and if you made it this far, you truly are a supporter of my channel, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. My family appreciates that. That's how we make our money. YouTube is a piece of the puzzle. We're constantly looking to grow and become uh, better developers, better content creators. We always try to be innovative, like with the two camera setup. This is the first time I've tried this. I hope it worked out well. I hope I can edit it in a way that makes it more enjoyable for you guys to watch. If you haven't already done so, I would appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel, and at the end of the video, I have three videos that I will be suggesting that I think that you might like as well. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Get out there, no matter what the weather is. Keep on digging, keep on picking, and as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Everything about you